Hello again, everyone. It is Vince Shooter for Shooter Multimedia coming to you today from somewhere near Cathedral Rock. Uh, near, uh, basically, it's part of Mount Charleston here in Nevada. Yeah, I'm as surprised as you are. Really, it was kind of, it's a nice thing. Hadn't known that this was going to happen today, but that's really not the, uh, the purpose of this video. There will be more of this discussion at, perhaps in a future video as, as things go along. But for today, for this video, I would like to talk about the fact that if you're on social media, as I am here on the mountain, you are not going to know that I am on the mountain from looking at social media. Would you like to know why? Let's go. Okay, so we really didn't go anywhere, but you know, the format, format. You gotta stick to the format. Now, if you're on Facebook at all, you will note that it is summer and you will see all kinds of announcements of people's vacation plans and where they're going and parties they're going to and all kinds of stuff. They're checking in here, they're going there, they're, they're live streaming from places far and away from their home. This requires a tremendous amount of trust in your friend base or let's call it all the people who can see your page, some of whom might not be your friends, especially if they have really good access to computer skills. They know you're not at home and they probably have a fairly good idea of how long you won't be home. This is probably okay if you've got really good insurance. Perfect way this can work, okay? You have a friend named Bob. A hacker downloads Bob's uh, photo from his Facebook page because your Facebook profile pic is open to everybody makes a new account under Bob's name and friends you with a message, oh, I locked myself out of my account, this is my new account. So you friend the new Bob. Now Bob's watching your, you know, he friends your friends, he friends as many people as he can, and then he waits until somebody goes on vacation. And the next thing you know, Bob's in your house. So in this fashion, uh, none of your friends has had to do anything wrong, but someone who's looking like one of your friends, yeah, that's just, you know, that's just one of the ways. If one of your friends uses an open Wi-Fi somewhere, like they have at our hotel, um, which I didn't use, um, then hackers can get a gain access to you, their Facebook pages, they can read your Facebook pages, and then, I mean, there are entire uh, criminal entities that, that do this for profit. There are even worse things that can happen. You can check in and say, I'm going for my run in this well-known but secluded place. Yeah, the, there's so many times. I have so many, all of my friends who go running and you check in that you're running down a trail somewhere um, and you're usually women. Uh, this is not a good plan for the same reasons. You don't know who new Bob is, okay, or what his intentions are. Now, I wouldn't say never check in, never tell people where you're going, because sometimes you have an event that you're trying to promote and you want to say, I'm going to be here. And that's just a risk that you, you take on and you try to mitigate that risk as much as possible. I just did my first two live streams for, um, on Facebook and on YouTube. First time for both of those. And that was for the benefit for Gina Simonetti. And that was something that I want people to know I was going to be there. And I wanted them to be there. And when you're promoting something that's important to you, well, then you take the risks and then you mitigate the risks as best you can. But it's tough. I mean, if you always check in every time you go to church or every time you go to the supermarket, it does a couple things. It sets up a pattern on Facebook that people can find and track and figure out your movements. And if they want to rob your house or rob you or, or do something unfortunate to you, um, they can plan with the data that you're giving them. All I'm saying is try to be judicious with, uh, with your information. Whatever you're putting up, realize that other people can see it and probably people that you may not have intended to see it may see it. And on that note, I'm Vince Shooter for Shooter Multimedia. Have a great day, everybody.